Agnatha Greek, no jaws, is a superclass of jawless fish in the phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, consisting of both present cyclostomes and extinct conodonts and ostracoderms species. The group is sister to all vertebrates with jaws, known as nathostomes. Recent molecular data, both from rRNA and from mtDNA as well as embryological data strongly supports the hypothesis that living agnathans, the cyclostomes, are monophyletic. The oldest fossil agnathans appeared in the Cambrian, and two groups still survive today, the lampreys and the hagfish, comprising about 120 species in total. Hagfish are considered members of the subphylum vertebrata, because they secondarily lost vertebrae. Before this event was inferred from molecular and developmental data, the group Craniata was created by Linnaeus and is still sometimes used as a strictly morphological descriptor to reference hagfish plus vertebrates. In addition to the absence of jaws, modern agnathans are characterized by absence of paired fins, the presence of a notochord both in larvae and adults, and seven or more paired gill pouches. Lampreys have a light-sensitive pineal eye, homologous to the pineal gland in mammals. All living and most extinct agnatha do not have an identifiable stomach or any appendages. Fertilization and development are both external. There is no parental care in the agnatha class. The agnatha are ectothermic or cold-blooded, with a cartilaginous skeleton, and the heart contains two chambers. While a few scientists still regard the living agnathans as only superficially similar, and argue that many of these similarities are probably shared basal characteristics of ancient vertebrates, recent classification clearly place hagfish the or hyperotreti, with the lampreys hyperorti, as being more closely related to each other than either is to the jawed fishes. Metabolism Agnathans are ectothermic, meaning they do not regulate their own body temperature. Agnathan metabolism is slow in cold water, and therefore they do not have to eat very much. They have no distinct stomach, but rather a long gut, more or less homogeneous throughout its length. Lampreys feed on other fish and mammals. Anticoagulant fluids preventing blood clotting are injected into the host, causing the host to yield more blood. Hagfish are scavengers, eating mostly dead animals. They use a row of sharp teeth to break down the animal. The fact that agnathan teeth are unable to move up and down limits their possible food types. Body covering In modern agnathans, the body is covered in skin, with neither dermal or epidermal scales. The skin of hagfish has copious slime glands, the slime constituting their defense mechanism. The slime can sometimes clog up enemy fish's gills, causing them to die. In direct contrast, many extinct agnathans sported extensive exoskeletons composed of either massive, heavy dermal armor or small mineralized scales see below. Appendages Almost all agnathans, including all extant agnathans, have no paired appendages, although most do have a dorsal or a caudal fin. Some fossil agnathans, such as osteostracans and pitoriospids, did have paired fins, a trait inherited in their jawed descendants. Reproduction Fertilization in lampreys is external. Mode of fertilization in hagfishes is not known. Development in both groups probably is external. There is no known parental care. Not much is known about the hagfish reproductive process. It is believed that hagfish only have 30 eggs over a lifetime. Most species are hermaphrodites. There is very little of the larval stage that characterizes the lamprey. Lamprey are only able to reproduce once. After external fertilization, the lamprey's cloacas remain open, allowing a fungus to enter their intestines, killing them. Lampreys reproduce in freshwater riverbeds, working in pairs to build a nest and burying their eggs about an inch beneath the sediment. The resulting hatchlings go through four years of larval development before becoming adults. They also have a certain unusual form of reproduction. Evolution Although a minor element of modern marine fauna, agnathans were prominent among the early fish in the early Paleozoic. Two types of early Cambrian animal apparently having fins, vertebrate musculature, and gills are known from the early Cambrian Maotiantian shales of China, Haikuchthys and Mylokunmingia. They have been tentatively assigned to Agnatha by Jean Vier. A third possible Agnathid from the same region is Haikauella. 
A possible agnathid that has not been formally described was reported by Simonetti from the Middle Cambrian Burgess Shale of British Columbia. Many Ordovician, Silurian, and Devonian agnathons were armored with heavy bony spiky plates. The first armored agnathons, the ostracoderms, precursors to the bony fish and hence to the tetrapods, including humans, are known from the Middle Ordovician, and by the late Silurian the agnathons had reached the high point of their evolution. Most of the ostracoderms, such as thelodonts, osteostracans, and galeospids, were more closely related to the nathostomes than to the surviving agnathons, known as cyclostomes. Cyclostomes apparently split from other agnathons before the evolution of dentine and bone, which are present in many fossil agnathons, including conodonts. Agnathons declined in the Devonian and never recovered. Classification Groups Phylogeny based on the work of Miko Haramo and Delsic et al. See also Nathostomata Amphorhina, an alternate name for the above parallel, or sister, classification Cyclostomata References <laughs>